All right, so as it is now, we have three solar panels, each 340 watts, and it's providing like what, 12, no, 10, 10, 12 or 10, 20, something like that. Yeah, mats are. So what's up everyone, welcome to another video. I know I've been giving you some short ones, but decided to go in depth and show you all about our hybrid solar air conditioning unit. So it's quite sunny as you can see, and we're gonna put out those four Panasonic solar panels again and have them powering the unit. So these four Panasonic solar panels again, each rated at 340 watts and they're going to be providing power to our 12,000 BTU hybrid AC-DC mini split. So this unit is the Zamna Climate. They're a company based in the United States and this particular 12,000 BTU unit requires only 930 watts so each panel that we're using is 340 watts we're using four so it's well over the amount of power that's required and also as you can see here the mc4 connectors or connection point so it accepts connection directly from the solar panels so no need for any intermediary device, no need for an inverter, just from the pol your solar panels and plug directly to the outdoor compressor on these units. Also, because it's a hybrid unit, you still have connection here from the local grid. All right, so there you have it. Our four panels are out. The sun is right above them. And they're all illuminated. So now it's just for us to get them connected. We've connected them. And now we have our cables that we're going to extend from these solar panels to that mini split right there on the side of the building. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. both ends from the solar panel from this setup one from the positive one from the negative and we're gonna extend this bring it all the way down to our mini split so we have our positive going here and our negative going to that side So now our unit will be getting all the power it needs just from these four solar panels. So now we're back on the inside. You can see that the switch that controls the power from the grid to the unit is off. The unit is off. You can turn it on so there's power from the grid back off and uh, as you can see if we should now power this on that green indicator signifies that it's getting everything from the solar panel all the power is coming from the solar panel 
let's turn this down. So now everything that it needs to operate is being made available by those four solar panels. Now in the event, in the event of, a, of a cloud cover and there's not enough energy from those solar panels, once, once this switch is on, what it will do is to pull what it needs from the grid. So it will not just drop all the power that it's getting from the solar panels and start pulling from the grid. It just pulls what it needs from the grid. What you will see is a red indicator with a sine wave and I'm going to show you that. I'm just going to disconnect one of the um, connectors and you will see what that looks like. You know what, instead of disconnecting it, I just use something to shade, create a shade on two other panels and then I'm going to go inside and show you what happens. Because we have a panel shaded or two panels shaded, it's not getting sufficient power from the solar panels, not consistent. Anyway, and uh, there you go. So you see that red indicator with the sine wave and that shows that some of the power is being supplied by the grid. So it's not consistent. It's getting some from the solar panels. Sometimes it gets all, but because of that shading, it goes back and forth between the grid. So it doesn't drop the, the, the solar panels completely. It just pulls what it needs, when it needs it, from the grid. We've moved the temporary shading on the solar panels, and now the unit is back in operation as effective as it can. If you can see behind me, the compressor unit is running as effective as it should. All from power from solar panels, as, as you can see, there's condensation on these areas, meaning that it's pretty cold on the inside and it's producing as much distilled water as it can. So at this time, I'm gonna ask you guys to subscribe, shoot me a like, make sure you drop a like on this video. And for the next video, I'm gonna be showing you this unit. This is gonna be connected wirelessly to our mini split and giving you the opportunity to control it anywhere in the world. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for this next video. If there's anything you wanna know, feel free to drop a comment and if you need information on this unit it will be in the description thank you guys for watching and bless upon yourself it's now five o'clock Jamaica time we're still on DC power it fluctuates every now and again there you go and outside looks like this so the Sun is almost behind these houses Solar panels are like this. So not much in terms of sunlight, but the unit is still getting some amount of power and it's still running off the solar panels.